Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese. you should know that by now. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Today we're going to be answering the question, when does this end? Because we've been playing this game for a long time, we're well over a hundred hours, and the thing is, I kind of feel like at the pace we're going, where I literally play it maybe once a week, it's still fun, we've not like overdone it. I mean, yeah, we're 147 hours in. I could just keep playing. But how long can I keep a series going? And I've kind of made up my mind about what we're going to call the endpoint. I'd like to do all the side quests, and maybe we'll focus on doing that as well. I <laughs> Hold on, no. Okay. What I decided the end will be is when we have done all of the heroes um, ascension quests. Not worried about getting everyone leveled up on every class or anything like that. I'm not even really worried about doing all of the side quests, I'm just worried about doing all the ascension quests. Those are all the voiced stories, and those tend to be the better storylines. Now, if at the end of that I decide, no wait, actually, we're gonna keep playing until we've done all the all the side quests in the game, not just the ascension quests, well then, I, I, golly gee, we're just gonna do that too, I guess. But, <laughs> as of right now, that is the plan. So with that in mind, we're going to come over here to the rest spot for the city camp, and we know that we have a couple of ascension quests queued up inside of our disgust. Now, we know one of them, Gondor's Grumblings, is probably to ascend Gondor, or at least we assume as much, but we have another one here called Curious About Training, and I don't know what is it, it, what, what it, is, uh, what it is about, so we're going to find out together. Before or now, I can't tell which one was tougher. What is this about? Ah, nothing really. I was just thinking about the training regime those lost numbers go through. I hear it's a real gauntlet. That's how you toughen up, ain't it? Not that I'd want to sign up myself. Right, ours wasn't pleasant at all. But when it boils down to it, I think it's the trainees who are better off, yeah? Compared to what we're doing now? Exactly, yeah. Life was a lot easier back when we were new recruits, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> it does make a kind of sense. All we do these days is fighting, and then more fighting. Remember when Noah earlier in the story was like, I don't want to fight anyone if we don't have to? I don't want to kill anyone if we don't have to? Remember those sweet summer days with, with our little boy Noah? Oh, I made this outline slightly more... ...opaque? I lowered the opacity. Does that make it more or less opaque? I don't actually know. I just realized that it was maybe a little bit too bright compared to other UI elements. It was a little bit too bold, so it's a bit see-through now and you can kind of see the environment around it. Yeah, you get me? What sort of training do you think they actually go through? You curious too, Senna? You want to come with? We can check it out together! Yeah, now you're talking! It's always fun to shop around for some new exercises. You lot are really getting into this idea. The training ground should be near the dormitory. I think we spent the night there once. Yeah, let's drop by when we're in the area. This is going to be for lands. Yeah, we've got lands. We pretty much knew that. I think I said even at the end of the last episode, it would either be lands or Senna. Because both of them are into the training and the working out and the, you know. So this isn't too terribly shocking. But that does mean that we still have to go find Senna's. Senna's will be the last ascension quest, which is almost perfect. Because that's the character we always play as for whatever reason. Uh, except for today. Where as soon as this loading screen is done. Any minute now. Any second. Oh. So you wish to utilize this thing of which I meant to dispose. Such daring hey. lunacy. That is what I would dub it. It would be a dreadful waste to throw it away. There's always a use. Always. People, lives, the lot. Why? I stand corrected. Then, what manner of use is it that you have envisioned? The lost numbers. The city ruffians. You do know, no life can be harvested therefrom. Yes, I am aware. That's why I'll have my toy soldiers play a little game. The lives of the Fallen will be amassed in this special flame clock as a reward for the final lass or lad left standing. Oh. 
The cream of the crop of youth competing for glory. Oh, is that not simply sublime? Alrighty then. Was what? I mean, that just kind of came out of nowhere, didn't it? I don't even remember what I was about to say. I I completely lost the thread. Why am I so yellow? Oh, oh, adjusting the white balance is difficult. All they have is a hue shift. And that's... <laughs> that's not gonna do it. <laughs> that's not right at all. Oh no, We're getting back into the realistic territory here. Maybe, I mean, it's, it's more yellow than it was. Oh my gosh, and then it just goes into the red. Oh, oompa, oompa. Remember when she turns into a, a blueberry? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, if we were playing through like an avatar, the, the blue people game, this would be the way to go. I am Jake Suli. <laughs> this is not right though. Well, I like that it's only changing my face as well. Look, everything else in the image stays exactly the same. I mean, there's a slight tint. Okay, that's a bit less yellowy, I think. I'm not sure if it's... I mean, I'm not really looking at this on a color-accurate screen to begin with, so I won't know until I start editing whether or not it, it's more true to life, but it's at least a little less sickly yellow. All right, let's go do some training now. Gosh, I want to be blue, though. There's just no practical reason for me to be blue. I can't just make myself blue for a recording. <laughs> it, I'd have to find, like, a justifiable reason. We're gonna be lands. It's the right thing to do. It's what we do in every Ascension quest. Except for maybe Noah and Mio's, I don't remember. But, you know, starting with, uh, I guess, Tyons and then Unis and then now Lanzas. We're, just, we're gonna play as them. We're gonna get into their shoes. Kind of feel what they're all about. Scratch our ears. Isn't that... What's his name's uh, wife? Or just like a reused character model? You know who I'm talking about. I don't need to say it because I've forgotten. Baby, yeah, it lands. Little lamb. Six ain't many. Six of what now? The Ouroboros candidates. All that training and six get in. Oh yeah, Monica did say something like that to us. I feel kind of let down. How so? Just knowing there's a pecking order here too. Makes them the same, same as us. People aren't equally suited to everything. Such is life. Sure. He's not I wrong. Guess, but I'm feeling hungry. You guys want to go grab a bite? I'm in favor. How about the shopping area? I found the tastiest looking torpedo stand. How's that sound? Torpedo wraps, eh? Spark, yes. Lance? Yeah, sure thing. They are all filthy. We, we are going to go back to a rest stop and give them a bath. I don't know why I've never noticed previously in the game in any of the other outfit. Man, he's in a rush. In none of the other outfits can you tell that they are dirty, but in these, for whatever reason, they are absolutely filthy. Uni's face, 
um, Mio's thighs, not that I was looking, uh, Lance's entire body. Also, look, Ethel and Kamaravi are here overseeing training. That's fun. How are you guys doing? Ethel and I are prepared, fully prepared, to ascend to the final battle. Travis seems perturbed, but he understands that we decide how we to use our own lives. I want to offer something back to you and the city. You who have given me place in the world. Some relationships changed. Yeah. I'm really thankful to all to you all. It wasn't easy for me, looking on from the sidelines in my child's body, while you did all the work. Manana, for the love of all things, will you please calm down? You're embarrassing all of us. You know this is being broadcast to the internet, right? They're gonna see this behavior. Good gosh. Besides, it's much more entertaining being able to fight on even footing with Kamaravi now. Absolutely, Ethel. Good gosh, poor little creature. She's lost her mind. This is this is Gray's wife, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. That or it's a reused character model, but I'm almost positive this is Gray's wife. I, I'd remember that, trust me, I'd remember her. One does not simply forget Miss Gray, you know what I'm saying? Like, like oof. I wasn't joking, by the way. We're actually going to come in here and clean clothes for the first time in ages. Because we've actually now noticed the difference it makes. And now hopefully everybody's a little cleaner. Lance's and, and Tyon's shoulders won't be covered in dirt. And, and you know, we've got clean thighs over there on Mio again. Not that we're looking. Let's go. A city torpedo, Rappe. This has me curious. Yeah, me too, Tyon. Them should be just across the bridge. Is this not the place we went to buy the wraps before? It's not. This is actually different. This is some kid named Zack. Is he just making them out of his backpack? No, he's juggling. He's not too bad. He's pretty skilled. He's got a number of balls he's keeping in the air. I'm impressed. I had a friend who could juggle. He used to do it at like back backyard Bible clubs and things. Yeah, see those thighs? Much cleaner now. Hey, not yeah, that anyone is looking. Mio's chest is... Or not Mio, but... No um, Uni's chest is clean now, too. Again, we're not looking. Also, what's wrong with the kid juggling? Son's back is clean now. Not that anyone was looking. Hmm. You want to go learn how to juggle? Is this, is this his big character you arc? Be wasting your time like this. Don't you have training? I'm not wasting my time. This is my job here. You call that a job? Hey, you're Ouroboros, right? I've heard. I suppose my job doesn't really compare to yours, I'll admit. Why are they on your case? Street performance. It's not allowed on this road. Street performance? This stuff. Around this spot, this is where you get the best crowds. <laughs> but still, they like to push me around. We're at war here. Why aren't you fighting? They say. Do you not need to be fighting? The city's army is just for volunteers. Oh. There's plenty who are willing. Why is that? Because it gets you others' approval. Hmm. Yeah, well, it would, wouldn't it? You think so? You don't? Well, who decides what has merit? And whoever's making the rules, how do we know they're right? This kid's speaking my language. Mm. Spoken like a true libertarian. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know anything. It's just... Uh-huh. I think... Isn't it fine if there's, like, one guy who makes the call for himself? You know? The freedom of the individual. Hey, even pointless things can have a point. Down the line. It's really for the individual to decide, Lance. He's learning something here. His way. mind is being open. Take it one step at a time, the way I want. Really live. Oh, rats. Better scarper before the guards find me again. Hey! Tell you what, I've got a new trick, just in the works. 
You should come and watch. Bye. But where? We need directions. We don't know where to find you. <sighs> is that going to be the whole, like, ascension quest? It's just wandering around yeah, the city there? to find this kid? Can I help so the lands can learn how to juggle? Nah. I'm all good. Mm. So it's pressing X to doubt. This alarm's worrying. Head for the war room. Right. D on it. I mean, it could just be like someone's ha apartment is on fire. The department's on the way to put it out. We don't. We don't know that this is an hey, enemy assault. Any torpedo wraps. Yeah. What about the torpedo wraps? Sorry, I think we were going to this place. Right now. But this is the torpedo wrap place right here. I'm almost positive, if I remember correctly. It could also be here. I, I can't read the the signage. I'm pretty sure that it was run by a nopon, which you are not, which neither are you, and nor are you. Actually, I can't remember which one of these it was then. I must just be remembering incorrectly. Have we ever traded anything with the city trader pawn? I mean, I know this isn't our current objective, which is to ascend Lance right now. But, I mean, maybe they have something interesting or unique? I mean, I guess if we wanted a guava, but we have 24 of them. And don't even get me par started on the mini pink asparagi we have, which is, of course, the plural for asparagus. Come on, let's go to the war room. I've turned on auto run. I don't have to do anything now. He's just going to run. Where is he going to run? Straight into a wall, probably. Who uses this? I mean, I guess, but I mean... I guess if you have a weak thumb and you can't... Con Gosh, my eyes are watering. I did just wake up. Uh, <clears throat> if you can't hold the stick down, I suppose this is an option for you. You know what would be nice, though, is if you turned on your objective, right? And you uh, you did the route, and then you hit auto-run. Oh, this is just auto-walk. If it would, like, auto-run in line with the objective and just take you there, but it doesn't. So what's the point? I don't feel like I'm asking for too much here, because I've had this auto-run thing. I believe it was in two as well. It might have even been in one, and just... Why? Is it like an accessibility feature? Is there something called like J Japanese thumb, which is like a common thing that happens where your thumbs over time get weak, and so they specifically for the Japanese audience. I I, I say this because it's a Japanese game. I'm not like making fun of Japanese people here. I'm just because I've never heard anyone in the states of having Japanese thumb. I kind of want to Google Japanese thumb, but I'm worried about what might come up if I do. Japanese thumb. I'm finding all kinds of weird things about all of our emotions being tied to individual fingers. Japan is an interesting country, isn't it? Right, back to this actual emergency that's unfolding around us. A cradle transport for the colonies? Yes. The report is calling it large scale. And you want to liberate it, like you did that last batch? Right, well, that explains the emergency assembly. When? Where? By our estimate, tomorrow, late night. Podesto Valley floor, at the Great Sword's base. Boss, the logistics guys wanted an overnight camping kind of deal. Approved. Sort out the planning. Just what I thought you'd say, so I took initiative. We can leave any time. Travis is just fantastic at his Should job. Should we lend them a hand with it? Yeah, gladly. If Monica's okay with it. It's up to you. But if things don't go to plan, there might be a fight. We're prepared for that. Hmm. Then be my guest. Take this chance to show my soldiers that Ouroboros spark. It'll be an illuminating experience for them, fighting or not. All right. We'll drill them well. No comment. I'm kind of curious because the city is no longer in the Cadencia region. So where exactly is this going to lead us if it can't just lead us out the main gate? It might take us to a transport, if I had to guess. One that would take us possibly to the Agnian Castle. And then from there, another transport into the Cadencia region down to like that docking station we've been to before. Kind of feels like that's what it's doing. We could just fast travel. But maybe it's more in line if we just 
do this. I mean, this feels more like true to the story. You know what I mean? We've got Armory Pilot here, which is actually not their position. That's their name. And they're taking us to Farview Cape in Cadencia. Okay, perfect. I mean, I was definitely expecting a layover at the castle, but this works as well. And of course, now we have to go as far as imaginable four kilometers to get where we're going on foot apparently i highly doubt that our boat is going to be down here waiting on us i don't remember where we parked our boat but i don't think it'll have magically teleported to this island to pick us up i mean i'm gonna wait and see because if we can avoid fast traveling it really does just make the whole experience feel more real and raw you know what i mean but uh, i'm also not super confident also we are going to throw ourselves off this oh my gosh our boat was waiting for us Look at that. Of course, four kilometers is nothing when you do have this, like, over-the-top boost that we've got. But we are actually heading not into the Cadencia, like, the, the sea, but kind of back here, behind all of this. We've, we've gone back here once before, back when we were doing some just, like, bog-standard exploration. And I think I even remember maybe saying that there was nothing of interest back here and I didn't understand why it existed. Or maybe I was just thinking that and I never actually said it out loud. But here's an opportunity for the game to say, Hey, you know what, man? No, actually, there's some interesting stuff around here. Hopefully. Or maybe just at least admit that it was boring and they made a use for it. God, why am I not... Why are words hard? Oh, I'm having trouble speaking. I should have woken up more before I started recording. How hey, now, me, brown yeah. cow? What was... B five four five. All we had to do was bash heads. No thinking, no nothing. What about the dying part? Were yeah, that scared? part wasn't good. Sure, I was scared, but at least I knew what was expected of me. Wait a second. Oh. You want to go back to that? Obviously not. No, he Say just wants to have I a feel. sense of purpose. There's just too much snuff to consider nowadays. It's doing we all know nothing. That. I think you should try it sometime. This thinking thing might not be so bad. Stop making it sound like I don't. You just said it yourself. No thinking, no nothing. I was talking about before, you spoon. Sorry? Who are you calling a spoon? Sorry? Oh, What's wrong up. with being called a spoon? If you act like a spoon, of course I'm going to call you one. Uh, it takes one to know one. What? Let's just chill out here, you guys. How does one act okay, like a spoon? then why don't you tell me where we are now? What's this region? Come on, spill. Uh, it's, uh... See? You can't tell your ass from your elbow. Does <laughs> that make you the spoon? <laughs> Just because I stepped through that class, if I've been awake for it, right. then... Things were easier. Then stay awake, you spoon! Yeah. We had everything handed to us. Back then. That's not quite true in your case, though, is it? You had thoughts, and deep ones at that. I can tell, when we're playing together. But you have, as well. I hope we find an answer. Absolutely. We'll find it, I'm sure. Bless their hearts. They've not done the end of the game yet. You know, all that extra character development you get in the last 30 minutes. They've not experienced it yet. Man, a apparently you can see grown-up Ethel in the last cutscene, and I didn't even notice. So I'm glad I wasn't paying enough attention to have that spoiled for me. But now we've got that sorted. We got Ethel back. She's all grown up. You know, we're going to get all the other heroes. I'm sorry, what did you say, Senna? What is happening? Oh, did she say, is this a rare thing? Hey, guys. Hmm? It's an honor. I mean, this chance to do an op with you guys. What do you mean? You're my heroes. Uroboros. I mean, I always knew a grunt like me could never measure up. Although, we all still dreamed of it. And now you're here in the flesh. Doesn't seem real. What's so great about us? Huh? Before this op's done, we might have to kill old friends. How about it? Could you do it? Stab a friend? Lance! Lance, buddy. I... I mean, that's... 
If you're here with some half-assed notions, go home. Lance. I, I, I'm sorry. I just got excited. They talk big, but when shit hits the fan, they might just double cross us. You watch. Uh, uh, what? You saying you can't trust us with the job? Hundred percent. He never trained with our unit before. Never ever fought by our side. I think this guy's being Way slightly see, reasonable. He's just some arsewipes who stole away what was rightfully ours. Okay, well now he's immediately thrown that away. Oh yeah? If I let you down, shoot me. In the front or back, I don't care. Gee, thanks. Well, that's awful big of you, pal. Lance is going through it right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have come. No, this is good. It's how you build trust. Why is she so stacked? Like, so distractingly open. stacked. Really? Who made that One call? One of my dad's favorite lines. Wasn't it the same for you lot? This feels like ages ago. And I guess it was almost a year ago. Yeah. You might be right on the mark. I'm sure they'll settle down when they need to. They've got good role models today. Alrighty. Well, I mean, that was a whole series of cutscene that Lance. scenes that could have gone better. Words are difficult right now. I am only half awake. I'm trying to get there. I'm not going to be useful for another, what time is it? At least two hours. That's when I, I hit the peak of my awakeness. And even then, you've only got about 30 minutes before I start going back downhill and I'm ready for bed. So, oh my goodness. Everybody's working for the weekend. Am I right, guys? Am I, let's, let's hear it. You know what I'm saying? Woohoo! I wish I could get the joy of my heart to oh, words I can't do I can't think I can't express what is this this wasn't here before every single decision right. quest has a new Quite colony but it's too quiet there's barely any signs of life this giant They've empty field makes sense now out. the fewer centuries the better for us there this field was empty Monica. at one point. The cradles are in that transport. Yes, it's likely. Let's head down. If we go around from the right, we can approach unseen. This is a trap. That. This is absolutely a trap. This is this is just absolutely that we're about to walk into the most trappiest trap to have ever trapped. Let's turn off the guide because we don't need that. We can figure this out on our own. They said down to the right to be sneaky, but I mean. What if we went to the left and then went all the way around to the Cradle Convoy Shelter? Right on. It looks like a giant like pill bug or something, doesn't it? Bless. All right, I guess we'll do if that then. Like this, then this will be a cakewalk. Yeah, I don't see anyone here. Yeah, Is no one else thinking that's a little bit sus? There's literally no one here. You say let's go to the right to be stealthy. Well, I don't think we will get into a rumble if we go this way, Lance. There's no one there. I'm, I'm willing to bet that if we just walk right down the middle, we'd be fine, but okay. We'll pretend to be sneaky. This place has been abandoned. Clearly, there's something sus going on. It's a trap. I want to go back to the city and learn how to juggle. What? Give me a round to the front of this thing. Yeah, no, we walk in here. It slams shut, and they've got us. That's why I didn't walk in. I stayed on the outside and hit the button. Well, never mind. We're going in. What is this? They're all empty. Crap! Yeah. Oh, Monica, you know the argument. There's nothing made. in here. They're all empty. <sighs> Son of a report. Same over here. We got cradles, but nothing in them. <sighs> Monica, did we? Did we just fall for a trap? Well, there's your answer. They've got us surrounded. Cavetti troops. 
Well, doesn't it suck to be you? Every little step you made turned out exactly as planned. Who is this guy? Now us, we're an elite unit, the all-stars of Keves. You lot have been doing as you please for long enough. Right here, right now, we're gonna correct that little mistake. Should I know this guy? Gar Garvel? Oh, so you've actually heard of me? No. Guess I gotta give myself more credit than I thought. Layla and who? Who? Sparks. They look like they're in their early terms. Hold on. That means they got Garvel. That adds up. Layla this and song. who? Soon after they moved to Colony Eight, I hear they croaked. <sighs> Have we not heard of these characters Don't before? Don't dare look down on us second termers. We were chosen. We are the elite. Now, I don't know if you're lost numbers or what, but you're in our way, and for that, your heads are gonna roll! Kite, Hoop, and Layla. I thought the Kite... So I thought that I'm very... I thought that the... So this is a kid from the flashbacks. I thought that was someone different this whole time. I thought that was the guy who's currently the head of what's Colony 9. Is it not? I mean, I knew Kite was involved. I am. Uh, this is a complete twist, and I'm deeply confused. I have a lot of questions. I think we're really over level, so I'm just gonna let the fight play out automatically while I do some wikiing over here. Don't bother me, okay? Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Colony 9. Are we doing good? Yeah, we're winning. It's fine. I don't have to do anything here. <laughs> I don't have to be involved. Alright, let's see. So Zeon, I thought, was the kid in the flashbacks. So you're telling me it's someone different? Colony Sigma. So, let's see. Uh, rank 10. Division all due to no one. Hello? Where, where's the fighting? Let me just get myself back in the fight here, and then I'll go back to what I was doing. Literally no need to be involved in this at all. Um, this is very odd. This is, this is a, very confusing. Uh, this kind of ruins the character development I thought we were having. I'll have to brush up on all of the history here in a minute. I guess right now I need to focus on the cutscene. So much Just for the elite of Kevis. I need that sweet, sweet life! Finish him off! Hurry! Run him through! Go on! Kill him dead! That'll give me a good top up, nice and easy! Gotta love this new flame clock the console was kind enough to give us. It's a belter! Beg pardon? Oh. It is different. It's a different color. Yeah, that is no ordinary flame clock. Back in my old colony, if some moron slowed you down, there was nothing you could do. Oh, you could kill him, sure. But you wouldn't get any life from it. But around here, that's all changed. Here, life is the privilege of the strong. The final survivor gets to take the whole snuffin' cake! Garvel. You get it now, do you? The weaklings need to be taken out of the running, so give me some of that sweet life! I... He's really lost his mind. Mother! You can call yourself the lethal you want. But do, do moderate, moderate your expectations. Huh? You're the same as ever, Gav. Only ever thinking of yourself. How, How are you gonna win against, against us like, like that? that? Uh, uh, what the snuff is this? No one told us about these monsters. You are not to hesitate. Man! <laughs> What? Are you... Yeah, that's right. We took the hit for you. Lady Consul! I should have known. Guess you can't have a Ferronis without a Consul, eh? 
My Ouroboros as well. I can't believe my luck. I suppose I ought to have prepared better still. A woman? You like my children? <laughs> They're an anti city special unit. <laughs> Why do you One respond that like I that? Like that's the first time we've ever seen a <laughs> like a woman Mobius before. Why did he sound so shocked? Breaking to educate them so. They'll have to earn much, much more life for me before they're done. I hate failed investments. So you see, I'll take you brats out myself to protect mine. All right. I like that we're just in Ouroboros form at the start of the fight. That doesn't happen very often. Also, I'm not used to doing lances. I mean, I know that I'm always doing, like, lands and senas. But lances is actually a little bit different than senas. And is a little bit clunkier, it seems. I'm having trouble, like, getting the, uh, the pacing down for the canceling. Kind of got it there. Not getting it. There we go. All right. A little bit. And then we're going to do this and then bail. 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 Bail before it overheats. Bail, 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 bail. I think we've already overheated. Yeah, it's too late. That's a shame. I mean, it's not a big deal. I was not going to uh, reactivate it until it was fully charged anyway. Or fully cooled off. But now we just got to wait. We did that. We did that topple all by ourselves. Uh, we didn't do that, though. I feel like this is yet another situation where if I was not attacking like actually I mean, I'm not even really interacting I'm just kind of sitting here uh, this is the problem with being over leveled so you don't actually have to play the game I, I guess I'm gonna come in with that topple there though but again everyone else has the ability to topple so if we didn't do anything it, it wouldn't have really mattered let's do a chain attack at least then I feel like I'm involved in the combat a little bit more at this point I noticed that I'll sometimes look over here to check that I'm centered in the camera and everything which means that I'm not like looking at you or at the game and I'm wondering if maybe I should move my monitor over here I could move the camera over there but the issue with that is that then I would be like in every video instead of where it kind of looks like I'm you know at this angle I'm kind of looking up at the screen it would instead look like I'm just kind of looking off over here at, at the wall I guess is that or would that would be more like no yeah like that and that wouldn't make any sense I wouldn't want that so I don't know what to do I'm at a complete loss. Also, my Steam Deck, my Stream Deck stopped working. Unrelated, but I just thought I'd share. Like, the Stream Deck itself is fine, but the Linux compatible program, that's not relevant to what's happening right now, is it? Okay, you know what? This was actually a pretty good one. It's been a while since we've done an Ouroboros attack that I felt like has been really good. Because when we got back into the game after a bit of a hiatus, I'd forgotten how to do them properly. And then we were doing all that stuff inside of the land challenge where you only had heroes and those were kind of hard to get mastered. And then you go back to the regular world and you got to do them normally again. This was a two mil one for sure. Almost, almost definitely a two mil one, but only a 1.7 mil one at the end of the day. But close enough. What is this? Nobody told me the Ouroboros bombs were so horribly strong. Why did no one tell me? I mean, how could you not know? It seems your grasp has exceeded your reach. Noah! Cut the flame clock! We gotta release Garth and the others! Yeah! Yeah! This simply is a spell! Good riddance. What just happened? The, the cops off, she... She just disappeared. She blew up. So she turned into modes of light. It's what happens when you die. Console. Have you not been paying attention to the world what? that you live in? What am I supposed to... Stop being a little brat. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> he just clocked a child. Drop oh, it, it was off. so good. Your clock's gone. Just stand down. Peace. You don't have to fight anymore. Huh? No more stealing of lives. No more charity from consuls. What are you on about? Get snuffed. You're talking out your ass. Don't have to fight. Fighting yeah, you take is up all juggling. we know. 
If we don't have that, then what the snuff are we supposed to do? Tell me! Street performances? What do we do now? That was a hard cut. Hey, need some help? Huh? Oh, yeah. Nah. Been through worse. Man, you guys. Stunning. You're so far beyond us. Ah, uh, it's not a big deal. If you were one of us, you'd do just as well. I think they'll be okay, those guys. What's eating you, Lance? Well, I just worry we cut them loose a bit soon. Tell me, what are we gonna do now? How would I know? Huh? You stop stealing lives, you guard them. It's simple. But the how is up to you, got it? We're having a flashback to events that happened you five minutes do ago. You can't to us! Colony 4. Know it? Yeah. I've heard about it. On your map, middle of the Faunus region. The lieutenant there, Boliaris. You can tell him we sent you. Try him. Helps to have a mentor, starting out. Oh... Figured something the out. Info. Now they got a choice. Some might take it hard, though. Besides, when we cut through the flame clock, it was to protect the city detachment, too. There was little else we could do. If we'd meddled even more, it might have come right back round to bite us in the bum. We did the right thing by telling them about Colony 4. Oh, there's a joke in there we're I not going to go for. I think course of action. <sighs> Everything they believed came crashing down just like that. They'll be confused for a while, sure. But they'll figure it out. Just the same as you lot did. We might have gotten off lightly. If we hadn't met like we did in that valley, we'd be just as confused as those guys. Luck was on our side. Speaking of... Back then, wasn't it Lance who was the most reluctant of us? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Our big man was just a bit shy to introduce himself in front of new people. Right? Ah, shut up. Oh, yeah, he was. I did kind of get the impression that he was embarrassed to speak up. Right? Eh? Oh, he's just a big teddy bear, really. I was wondering why they were sending him to Colony 4 instead of Colony 9, and then I realized it's possible if you do this quest. When you do this quest, you'll definitely, definitively, certainly must have already released Colony 4, but you might not have released Colony 9. You might not have even gone back there Here, yet. Lance, same dish as mine. Double Arden meat, deluxe. Thus, ah, send him to Colony 4. Oh, uh, let's see. No tall spice here. But double veggies. Arden sausage, huh? That sounds good. But then, there's the tall spice sauce as well. Mmm, fluff cream and skeeter syrup dressing. What delights. Oh, there's even chocolate sauce. How can I possibly choose? Still hard to believe, huh? Eating what we want. Huh? But is it enough? I want more. Dude, that's already pretty hefty. You really gonna eat another? Oh, hey. Whoa, he's pretty deep. Well, have I got it backwards? Huh? Maybe it has to start with me.
I mean, that was okay. I think we've gotten better Ascension quests. It seems like we're going in descending order as well. I mean, no one Mio's, you can't really call them Ascension quests. They're so tied to the main story. You literally can't complete the game without doing them. But so far, it definitely feels like Tyon's was the best. Bringing us to this whole new location, all these new characters, this new story elements. Uni's was okay. At least she finally told everyone about seeing her dead self. Lanz's was that. I don't know. I'd feel like they did our boy Lanz wrong. But um, there you go. We've broken his, uh, his class limit now. Good on him, I guess. Now we got to figure out where Senna's is. We're going to do that next time. I'm going to like slap myself in the face or something to wake up a bit more. Until then, thank you folks for watching. God bless you and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>